Hi everyone, my name is Jake Hemmerly and I'm on the technical education team here at the Web3 Foundation. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to stake or nominate your tokens on the Polkadot network. This is the same workflow with, uh, if, you're, if you're using Kusama, so uh, you'll just use the Kusama network uh, in this example. So uh, we're going to do basically three things, or four things rather. Um, First, we're going to create uh, some accounts. We're going to create a stash account and a controller account. This will be used for staking. We're then going to fund these accounts. And then after that, we're going to bond the tokens. And then we are going to uh, nominate uh, with those bonded tokens in order to, uh, to, to stake them. Go ahead and uh, start off by uh, installing the Polkadot.js browser extension. Um, if you're familiar with MetaMask, this is uh, is similar to that. If you're from the ETH world, um, but it makes it uh, it makes it really simple to manage all of your accounts. And once we start rolling out parachains for Kusama and Polkadot, uh, it'll be a lot easier to interact with those different parachains by having this extension. So um, go ahead and install that. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, click the plus button at the top right and click create new account. Uh, if this is your stash account, you're going to want to uh, save this. Uh, well, you're going to save the seed for both of these, but uh, write down the seed for uh, this account here. Uh, I'm going to say I did that. I'm going to select the Polkadot Relay Chain. Select Kusama if you're using Kusama. And I'm going to call this uh, stash. I'm going to give it a password. Cool. Um, and uh, we're going to generate that account. Cool. I'm going to do this again for the controller account. So create a new account. Uh, write this down. We're going to call this uh, controller account. I'm going to select Polkadot again. And then uh, I'm going to click add this account with the generated seed. Cool. So now that we have that, we want to uh, fund the account. And uh, what we're, what we're going to first do is go to uh, polkadot.js.org forward slash apps. And uh, this is going to show you um, your accounts here. Um, so next we're gonna fund it. So uh, you can do this, you can get your account address by opening up uh, polkadot.js and then uh, going to your account and either uh, highlighting and copying this or uh, by clicking the, uh, the logo here. But you're gonna want to, uh, if you're gonna withdraw your coins from your exchange, you want to withdraw them to your stash account. So uh, I, would, I would withdraw them to here. Uh, I'm actually gonna be transferring them from a different wallet into here. All right, awesome. So we can see now that our uh, stash account has some DOT tokens in there. So next I'm going to want to fund the controller account and uh, your controller account basically allows you to do staking related operations and other things with the bonded tokens without uh, being able to transfer those tokens. So what we'll do in a little bit is you'll actually uh, delete your stash account from um, the browser extension and this keeps it as a cold wallet, but uh, you can still uh, select nominators and do other bonding related activities with the controller account that stays online. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send to the controller account from the stash account um, 1.5 dot and uh, what I'm what I'm I'm computing that by uh, I I need one dot in order to cover the existential deposit, which you need in order for the controller account to be alive. And then I'm also adding enough for any transaction fees that are going to be related to staking operations here. So uh, 1.5 dots going to be enough for that. I'm going to send that to the uh, controller account. Make transfer. Sign and submit. I'm going to uh, type in my password here. Sign the transaction. And sweet, we have seen, we see that that has been sent. Cool, so next we're going to go to uh, network and then staking. And then uh, we're gonna click account actions here. And we're gonna create a new stash. We're gonna click the, uh, the plus stash button here. For the stash account, we're gonna make sure stash one is selected for the controller account. We are going to make sure the controller account is uh, selected. Cool, and then uh, we're gonna bond uh, let's say I want to bond two tokens here. So I want to stake two tokens. I'm going to, uh, actually, no, I'm going to do uh, one point. Let's do 1.8. And this can be uh, any subset of the balance that exists on the stash account. 
so uh, 1.8 and then I'm going to increase the amount at stake here um, for the staking rewards um, you can also not increase the amount at stake so that you can send them as soon as they hit your wallet or transfer them out you can also send them to the controller account if you prefer to do that um, or you can specify another account that this gets transferred to I'm just going to increase the amount at stake I'm going to click bond this is going to execute a transaction from the stash account and then I will sign from the stash account here sweet so now we can see that uh, there are uh, 1.8 dot locked up here in a stash so next we're going to uh, click nominate and we're going to select validators that we trust i'll leave a link in the description so that you can see what kind of criteria you want to look into um, when choosing validators or rather to, to to choose validators that you trust so don't just select the ones that i'm using for this example um, but uh, i will select these randomly here Next, I'll, uh, once I have all of the uh, accounts that I'm, I'm comfortable nominating, I'm going to then click Nominate. Uh, I will then click Sign and Submit. This will execute a transaction from the controller because the controller is now um, in control of the bonded tokens. Awesome, so uh, we can see that that transaction has now gone through and we are waiting for these nominations to go through. Um, assuming that these validators become part of the next validator set, which happens every era, which is uh, 24 hours, then uh, you will start receiving staking awards after 24 hours or within 24 hours rather. Cool, so uh, now you don't really need to do anything. Um, what I actually would recommend you do is uh, go and forget your stash account from here. Make sure that you have written down uh, that seed. Otherwise, you will not be able to, to do anything with these tokens ever again. So make sure that you have a backup of your seed. Um, you can also, uh, with this open, you can click export account. You can type in the password and then uh, save this uh, as JSON, as, I'm do I can, as I can do here. Um, or make sure that you have that seed phrase written down. I repeat, if you forget this, if you delete this account and you don't have that written down, you will not be able to access these tokens ever again, which is very bad and very sad. So um, make sure you have that saved. And then what you can do is you can click uh, forget account. And what this will do is this will make sure that if your computer is ever compromised or anything like that, um, then you will still be able to access the tokens in that stash account by uh, loading them onto another clean computer or something, executing the unbonding uh, extrinsic, and then you'll be able to withdraw those coins. So you're basically keeping a hot wallet and cold wallet separate and, or, and, and the, the coins really live in the cold wallet, um, which is your stash account. So um, yeah, you can, you can do that. I would recommend doing that. So let's say uh, you're done and you don't want to you don't want to stake you don't want to do any of that anymore and you want to unbond these tokens and use them elsewhere. Um, you want to make sure that your uh, stash account and controller account are both in the browser. Um, you're going to uh, click stop here. This is going to uh, stop the staking process. You will then uh, sign the transaction. And uh, now your coins will still be bonded, but they will not be used for staking operations anymore. After that, what you can do is you will then uh, unbond these tokens. You'll click uh, this here and then unbond. You'll select the uh, unbond amount. In this case, I want to unbond, unbond all of them. Uh, I'll click unbond. This will uh, execute uh, from the controller account here. Sign and submit. I will uh, sign the transaction. Again, it's from the controller account. And this will start the unbonding process. After the uh, 28 days have passed, the unbonding period, which is uh, 28 days on Polkadot and seven days on Kusama, you will then be able to transfer the coins using the stash account. So uh, that is basically everything that uh, you need to know in order to stake on the Polkadot and Kusama networks. Yeah, hope this was useful. See you guys later.